It is, can't like the way you did it. Um, this uh, is uh, July 31st, 2020, 5.58 p.m. This is episode 977. So I did this cartoon about Herman Cain. I really didn't feel good about the whole thing with Herman Cain. Um, I mean, this guy, he, he played the politics with the virus. He went to the rally, posted a photo of him without a mask, ignoring social distancing rules. He caught the virus within 10 days. And then he, he still played the politics of it. He tweeted out the South Dakota rally, like, good, they're not going to wear a mask. People are fed up. And then he, he helped hype the whole thing about hydroxychloroquine. And then now he's dead. You know? Um, and Donald Trump didn't mention the rally at all. He's taken every responsibility for it. And I'm going to tell you now, Donald Trump killed Herman Cain. He's killing a lot of people. And the thing is, maybe Herman Cain didn't catch that as a rally, but you know, if Donald Trump was out there talking about masks and social distancing, from the start, Herman Cain would have been too. Because Herman Cain was too stupid not to play the politics of this shit. And I'm sorry to talk bad about the dead, but yeah. If Donald Trump had been about masks and social distancing and all the rules that you should be following, there'd be a, a lot fewer deaths with this thing. And there'd be a lot fewer deaths that's gonna happen coming up. So yeah, uh, this is a harsh cartoon. It's mean, but damn it, we gotta be mean to Donald Trump. We, we, we gotta get rid of this shit. If people are not going to pay any attention or learn from this kind of crap, look at Louis Gomer. He was like, no mask, no mask, no mask. When he finds out that he has a damn thing, he goes to tell his staff with, well, he's not wearing a mask. And then he says he's gonna take the hydroxy shit to fight it, which again, he's playing politics with it. If you play politics with it, you can die. Herman Cain did. So, yeah, let me hear your thoughts on this. I want to hear you guys and chew me out if, you, if you're pissed off that I did this. But tell me about this shit. I mean, he played politics with this thing that can kill you. People, it's science. It's not politics. You know? Cut it out. Take this shit seriously. Damn. I, I was in a, a bar a few weeks ago, and I shouldn't have done it. I went there to meet Mike's girlfriend and her mom. And I, I know the bartender. I know a lot of people there. And this girl goes, oh my God, she's the bartender. It's you, yeah, let me come around and give you a hug. And goes, all right, goes, and gives her a hug. And I told the guy, you know what? You guys aren't observing anything in here and they're gonna shut you down. And he goes, what have you heard? And I said, I just heard that girl say, you gotta give you a hug, you know? And he just rolled his eyes at me and they're gonna shut down at some point. The bars in Virginia will shut down. I, I, I would probably put money on that because uh, I've been to two and they're not doing it right. <laughs> all right, shout outs. We got Bruce, TJ, and Robert, oh, Robert said, trick question, only the cartoonist was mythical, but the last one, <laughs> and TJ said about uh, Herman Cain's death, and you should be, I don't have any problem with that, I'm not going to argue with that. Bruce talked about how the mythical creatures are green, like three of the five, and I actually was conscious of that when I was doing the cartoon, like, man, all these guys got to be green, you know, you got, you know, the witch, the alien, what else did I draw, the lizard guy, and the alien could have been gray, because they call him the grays, but he had to be green for the cartoon. Anyway, leave a comment. Talk to you later. Goodbye.